today's vlog. What's up YouTube? We are back with another quick video. You know, we're trying to drop these videos back to back. And as you can see, we have problems with the truck. And otherwise, should I say Houston, we have a problem. Nothing too big, you know. Blue little amp out there getting in Daytona Beach. You know, it, it was a hot day. Man, we beat on this thing for like eight hours straight. I mean, it's still sitting pretty though. I mean, everything's still good, but my kicker amp, I believe my uh, clear on EQ, it, 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 it fell off. It, 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 I mean, that's what happens when you're out here trying to, you know, when you got a thing like this, it's just irresistible not to get on it, you know, look. But before we get started on anything, man, go ahead and subscribe, you know. Click on that subscribe button. I mean, if, if you watch some of my other videos, you know, you know, Get on it, hit that, that, that button, subscribe. But for those of you that are, you know, first time watchers of my channel, video, you know, all that, you know, th this is my baby. We got the LS2 under the hood. We got 412s and the fourth order band pass in the back. Um, we got mids and highs everywhere. I mean, let me, let me, don't judge it. It is dirty. Man, it's been raining like crazy, so I haven't been able to have a chance to clean her out. But I mean, we got the the two eights, the ten, the JBL tweeter, another JBL tweeter. We got the fiberglass console, nitrous that we are gonna hook up eventually. Four tens for voice, and inside there, inside that hole, that's where all the magic happens. We got four twelve kicker CVRs in a fourth order band pass. I mean, it gets pretty you know loud. It is pretty loud. Um, the front doors. You know, don't mind the rip. I'm still waiting to go to Mexico to get the seats done. But I mean, look, there's door panels. I am going to be building a center console, the front part of it. So stay tuned for that video on Monday. But I mean, look at this thing. It did take a beating in Daytona. I'm not even going to lie. You know, we did get on it. Subscribe. But what's the sense of having all this if, you know, you don't enjoy it and beat it? I mean, that's what it's made for, to destroy it. And I mean, every time we go somewhere, we try to blow out an amp, speakers, and everything, just trying to please the crowd, you know, try to get that thing as loud as possible and everything. We did have some mis mishaps in Daytona, but we already fixed it. But let me quick remind you, subscribe. Subscribe. So let's get back to the topic of the, uh, of the hour. So there it is. I got a kicker, the old school KX 2500.1. Man, this thing put in some work out there in Daytona the fuse looks a little busted but I mean I don't know uh, man we were beating out there it is hot out here right now and you know during the summertime and I mean we got on it you know hours straight hours straight I have no complaints over this app whatsoever I mean this thing is very powerful it does say 2500.1 but on the certificate that I got man that thing says 2900 point you know one it was 2901 or something like that man so it, it throws out true power I really am gonna try to look into trying to get in this thing fixed I mean it is one of my favorite amps 
but I mean if that's not the case we're gonna go ahead and buy a new one um, so drop in the comments you know what amps 3k 3000 watts you think are, are good right now in this era you know and and this you know when this amp came out in the era I mean this was a top dog that one and a mat amp but I've never really been a fan of the mat amps you know I love the kicker amps you know I still got this kicker a50.4 man it, it, it looks horrible but man this thing it, it puts some work but that's actually on my actual tweeters though and this PPI amps on the 8 and then I have the JL audio HD amp on the 10s on the rear of the truck uh, my front 10s are not even connected you know I did have the 1200 slash 1 HD amp but it blew out you know on the way to a car show all the time but like I said you know the fuse does look a little burnt but it's not you know broken um, these fuses right there are for the actual other amps right there and I do have a fuse box for the JL amp and uh, the other stuff that I got running all the other electronics um, but yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and you know take off this amp. I did test it, you know, real quick. The ways I tested this amp was the first thing I checked um, voltage. You know, I got a multimeter and I put it from uh, the ground to the power directly at the amp to see what the voltage was. It is 14 volts, so that's telling me that the fuse is still, I guess, somewhat good. And then I checked the voltage at the actual batteries, and they're like 14.1. So, I mean, voltage is really perfect. I did check the uh, voltage at the front fuse and under the hood. I mean, that thing is at 14.1 too. Um, after that, I checked the remote voltage um, when the amp turned on because what it does is when it turns on, the protect and the power like flicker on and off. So, I mean, it goes into protect mode right off the bat. So I did check voltage on the remote and it did, you know, um, you know, I read 14 again because uh, we do have a relay since we're doing so many multiple electronic pieces so it, it needs a relay um, i disconnected the speakers to see if you know one of the speakers were blown i i ohmed them i mean it's a two ohm load so all the speakers read two ohm uh, you know after wiring them together they all read, read two ohms and then the amp still you know got on it um, i got epicenters and um you know the the matrix which these products are badass um, and I unplugged the RCA's to see if it was an RCA issue and still nothing um, So I'm just gonna go ahead and you know final decision that it is internally messed up Not upset with it one bit, but I mean it is heartbreaking because this is my favorite amp I actually bought this amp like five years ago and it was sitting and I mean I think I got what like three months out of it Which is fine. I mean that's what they're made for That's why you know I built a truck to go ahead and enjoy it, you know jam it everywhere I go let people hear it um, You know people request songs I play them so they can hear it um, it was really ridiculous loud, especially with both of these things added on it. So, drop a comment. Let me know what amps are good nowadays. I mean, I'm not really too familiar with all these newer amps that are coming out, like the Crescendos, the Sundowns. I really don't want those Sundowns because those things are like surfboards. And I mean, I'm already pressed for space back there, back here as it is. So that would be out of the question. I would like to do, you know, two of the JL 1200 um, HD amps, but I mean. I don't know my boy was telling me to get those tarp amps or whatever those things are called the 3k smarties or I mean something like that I haven't really even like um, done that much research on them but he has them in his car and he says you know those things are badass which you know I'm not a, a, a hater on trying new product you know but I mean I just like to use what work I know works and this kicker 25.1 man this thing this is the man right here you know this is the man I mean, all the systems I always suggest people to do, you know, kicker 2500.1s or any just kicker sub amps. I'm not too familiar with the newer kicker amps, but I know these ones right here. If you can get a hold of one, buy it. And there's so much traffic around here today. But these 2500.1s, these old school ones thing, man, these things do justice. You know, I don't care what anybody says, you know. If you have 415s, man, put two of these things in there, man, that thing's going to freaking slam. You know, all the car, you know, installations I've done, you know, back in the day with these things, man. Um, man, they're ridiculous. I used to have 412 W3s in this thing with another one, I think a black one, the, the model after this one. And, man, that thing was, like, so loud. I had a Tahoe with uh, 812s, W3s in it with two of them in there. Man, that thing right there moves some serious air, you know. But, um, you know, everything has to come to an end. You know, electronics, some people get mad when they get blown out, but that's electronics. It could be working fine and the next second when you go to use it you man that thing's gonna be done for you know so i mean ain't nothing 
that you can do about it is just you know that's just electronics I may want to swap out that fuse you know what I'm saying and see what it does but I mean for the most part of it it is done um, like I said drop a comment let me know what amps you think are, are good 3k two ohm you know class D you know stable um, if that tarp amps you know those 3k's you know don't really do it like how I really wanted to do you know I will buy another one and you know connect two of them in there we'll tone generate it I'll drop a video on how to tone generate to make sure you have the right um, you know voltage going into them and producing out so both of the ones play um, the same way you know in phase I guess you want to call it um, because you don't want the speakers to be playing opposite and you lose you know pressure like that bass response and all that stuff so um, so yeah drop a comment you know I wanted to give you guys an update of what's going on with the, the bass um, if you're local and you're subscribed to my channel and you don't hear me jamming this is the reason why and like I said my uh, clear on EQ is messed up as well so I need to order one of those too but like I said we will be uh, doing a uh, center console starting it on Monday so wait for that vlog subscribe and you know you guys stay uh, posted on what's going on with everything we do have dunk day that's coming up here in uh, Dover Florida and like I said man we do all this hood shit out here you know so I mean and that's where you know that's our roots you know doing all the hood shit and you know we don't have a, a dunk but we do got that LS2 man you know and we do you know this thing does rumble you know I'm gonna drop a quick video on our uh, clip right now let's, so you can hear it man this truck's pretty baby fast and then with all this music in it i mean it does weigh it, it down a lot but i mean it, it, it still does does work you know subscribe and follow me on instagram on instagram i do you know post a lot um but i mean what else can i say you know uh, we had fun with the amps rip the the kicker amp for the the most part of it um here let me show you that other i got the other jl amp over here inside the garage Man, and this thing is just sitting here with the ostrich. Yeah, HD amp. Jail audio. This poor guy. But I mean, it, it, it did what it was supposed to do for the a day or two that it was in it, and it did blow out. But like I said, you know, subscribe, comment, which let me know what you think. Um, I am open, like I always say, to uh, everything. And look, we didn't even have this thing th turned up. We did kind of have it turned up, though. But that's what it is man so you know subscribe to the channel let me know what you think about the build you know um if for those of y'all that, that are new to the channel i'm gonna drop some quick clips on what the box looked like um going in you'll never see the subs you know because it is a fourth order band pass so the port is just there just to you know let the bass come out in it but the speakers are sealed up in there and i mean it, it's it, it's it's a job you know it, it it does its job when it's playing but so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and end the video here like i said subscribe comment let me know what, what amps you think i should go with um should i do one two amps you know replace the subs i do like the cbrs because um those are sleeper subs everybody does the sundowns and all this other stuff and i like to do you know totally the opposite or have the opposite of what people have it is pretty impressive with the 412 cbrs when you sit in it you know i start jamming on it and when i tell you it's just 412 cbrs on it you know people will be like what i didn't know cbrs could sound like that but man it's all in the box i'm sure if i had some sundowns or some crescendos or something in it and i built a, a box for it man that thing would be fucking you know ridiculous but i mean like i'm trying to stay away from that type of stuff you know uh and the boxes that i built you know i learned from the best so i mean i have secret formulas for you know kicker subs jail audio subs i would eventually like to put some w3s or w6s in it just for that sound quality and those things get down but you know we're gonna stick with the cbrs till we blow them completely all out and we may just even replace them and get you know more cbrs or the moment we we really blow two out you know we're gonna drop them jail is it yeah i can't even speak today those jail audios in it so subscribe that's all you have to do you guys just gotta subscribe you know drop comments hit the the the, the likes you know um get that notification bell you know all that you know these videos are you know informative for you if you like car audio you know i'm a big car audio freak you know i've been doing this thing since i was like 10 years old starting off destroying my my, my dad's cars um my mom's van all that stuff and we did work with the best in the industry here um in bradenton we have how i feel that we've built the loudest cars and i mean everywhere we go we we turn heads you know and uh, all the bills that we've done man th those things 
have been ridiculous and i mean i see a lot of things online and they do look good but man they ain't got that juice you know what i'm saying we like to be creative out here and still be loud look good and everything so yeah go ahead and subscribe again i know it's a you know a pain hearing me say that but we we, we do this man we do this so yeah thank you for watching um stay tuned monday for monday's video look at my hands all dirty from all the the stuff yeah so stay tuned for monday's video we're gonna go get started on uh, building this console and get it ready for dunk day and dunk day video will be coming and that video is gonna be stupid hard and i mean what what what, what else can i say so yeah, thanks a lot for watching, man.